Hi guys, today we're going to solve the hacker rank challenge called minimax sum. So this is a very easy one. And what we have to do is receive an array. All the arrays are always going to be of size five, meaning they're going to contain five numbers because they're going to be vectors of integers. And then we need to use four numbers out of these five total numbers to return a minimum sum. And then we also need to do that to return a maximum sum. So here's an example where we have this array. The numbers are one, three, five, seven, nine. If we use four numbers out of these integers that you see here, a minimum sum that we can have would be 16. That is one plus three plus five plus seven, and the maximum sum will be 24. So you can see here what we need to do is basically have a sorted array and then sum up the first four values to get the minimum sum and then sum up the last four values to get the maximum sum. Another example here, one, two, three, four, and five. And the um, the minimum sum would be these first four and the maximum sum would be this last four. So this is a very easy challenge to code. I'm going to switch my view right here. So the first thing to do to make sure that uh, we get the correct values, because although this is sorted here, this is not promise that the uh, vector that we receive is going to be sorted by default. So let's uh, take care of that. I'm going to use the C++ sort function as always. I like to pass my argument by reference. Now the next thing is looping through the vector. Although here we have to return two values, the first four and the last four, we can in fact handle that in a single for loop. We do not need two loops for that. So I want to get the size of the vector first by calling the dot size method here. And now in my for loop, I can say int i equals zero. i is less than four because we are going to run this loop four times. So you can see that the time complexity of this algorithm is going to be constant. It's always going to run four times our loop here. And then I want to increment i at every iteration. And then I can simply uh, make sure that first I have two variables so I can have uh, two long variables because here, if you check the outputs, they say that uh, we need to print two space separated long integers. So in fact, just to be safe in case uh, that tests are really huge, let's set all the values to long. So I'm going to have a variable called min sum is going to be initialized to zero and a variable called max sum also initialized to zero. As every iteration, I am adding the first four values in the array. So this is going to be the first, second, third, and fourth elements. And then I can say maxim plus equals in reverse order now. So I can simply say R. If I write size minus one, it means I get the last element in the array minus I. So this will give me the last four elements or the last four numbers in my vector in reverse order. So the first time is going to be this one, then second time, then third time, and then fourth time is going to be this number. So now that we are done, we can simply have C out min sum. We add a space and then max sum. And when we are done, end line. So that should be it for our algorithm. Let's me run this to make sure that we pass the test. And we just did. So there are two test cases here. We can now submit our codes and we pass all the test cases. All right, so that's it for this Hacker Rank video. If you liked it, please make sure you subscribe because I'm going to have many more Hacker Rank solutions in C++ on this channel. I'll catch you next time. Bye.